And now it's time for Coach's Comments, presented by Southside Auto Tech. Cristiano Simonetta with you, joined alongside by Stars head coach Rocky Russo. And Rocky, your winning streak snapped at five games. It's a 4-2 to two win for the Fargo Force. Talk about the first period effort from your group. Usado scores two goals in the first nine minutes and 32 seconds. You have 15 shots in period one. You're up 2 nothing after one. What did you like out of your group? Well, we played the right way. Like, that's that's how we play. That's Stars hockey. That's that's what's brought us our success. And um, we were we were playing physical. We were touching pucks first. We were extending our offensive possessions. We were transitioning fast, getting all over their D, which is where we feel like we had an advantage. If you can play behind their D, you're going to have success. And um, I specifically talked to them in, in the first intermission about continuing to do those things because it's it's bringing us success. And uh, the importance of not turning pucks over at the blue line, of, of not changing the way we're playing in the second period. And lo and behold, a bunch of 17-year-old kids completely didn't listen to a single word I said. Only eight forwards for Fargo tonight. They were a batter group. They were a group that was 0-6-2 in their last eight. Did you expect them in the second period? Like you said, if you let them hang around, give them some open ice, some open chances, they're going to capitalize. Absolutely. You know, we... We obviously, we kill the first one off. They score at the conclusion of the first one. And, and uh, you know, that's a tough situation with the seam. I've, you know, we've got two penalty killers sitting in the, in the stands that are injured and had to use some guys that we don't normally use. And, and unfortunately, our weak side winger is a little bit out of position, allow that seam pass to come across. But, you know, you're, you start taking penalties when you're not moving your feet, when you're not playing the game the right way, when all of a sudden, for whatever reason, we abandon everything and we want to start making backhand sauce passes across the, across the ice on zone entry. We want to make 90-foot passes from board to board through the neutral zone. Like That means we're not running our routes properly. We're not attacking certain spaces properly. And, and you know, unfortunately, it's, it's going to happen. Am I, am I happy about the result? No. Is it the end of the world? Of course not. It's an opportunity for us to learn, an opportunity for us to grow. And, and uh, you know, you're, you're not going to win every game. But if we find a way to learn from the mistakes we made and become better for it, then, then we'll be fine. In a season so far where you've had so much late period magic, Fargo didn't let you get any of that towards the end of the game. Your team's sense of urgency, how can it get more ramped up in future situations like that? It, 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 it was just a microcosm of the way we played. Like, you know, Mason Marcellus was literally our best forward in the first period, and then he decided to become a turnover machine in the second and third period. And... and you know, when, when that happens, like, he's the guy that's supposed to step up and fill the shoes of Aiden Thompson when Aiden Thompson's out. And he did a great job of it last week. And then he did a great job of it in the first period. And, you know, him and Johnson start to feed off each other, and all of a sudden the, the turnovers start to mount. Instead of them continuing to play the right way, they abandon what we do. And, and so I had to sit them for a stretch there in the second period, which we're better with them than without them, obviously. And, and you see when they're good how impactful they can be, but they're just as as – uh, much of a, an issue when, when they're not playing the right way and um, that's okay, they're kids, they're going to learn I love them dearly and, and I told them both that like you, you need to be better and I'm going to challenge you to be better but that doesn't mean that I'm not going to tell you when you're doing things bad I, I tell you when you do things good right? and, and they're, they both shook their head yes but now I've got to tell you when you're not doing things well and, and so that's a learning experience for both of them obviously they're, they're uh, experienced players but but they're still kids and and they're going to make mistakes and we'll watch some video and and we'll we'll learn from it rather have it happen in game 15 than game 62 an update do you have any on carter shady took that hit late in the second period didn't see him for the third that nah, was a dirty hit you know and and uh it's an elbow to the head and they should have called a penalty on on uh the interference on the goalie right before that they didn't do that they called a minor penalty on on the hit on carter shade it should have been a major um, and, and Carter obviously didn't return to the game. He's, uh, we'll call him day-to-day -day at this point. He's definitely injured, um, but, uh, but that's something that uh, our doctors and, and Corey will take care of. One last question for you, Rocky, and thanks so much for doing this. The game Saturday canceled against the Omaha Lancers, so this was an opportunity for you guys to empty the tank right now as it stands. You have two games next week, one against Sioux Falls, another against Omaha. What can you look forward to starting next week to start another five-game winning streak and maybe then some too? Well, we'll look forward to practice tomorrow morning. That'll be the first thing that we're going to focus on. And, um, you know, we've got a week of practice where we have an opportunity to get better, and, and that's the best part about it. Monday through Thursday is where all of our learning happens and well, all, where all of our development and growth happens, and, and then we see the results on Friday. So um, sometimes a loss is, is good for a team.
you know, and, and uh, obviously you never want to lose hockey games, but if, uh, if we can refocus and reset and, and uh, start to play the right way again, then obviously we've seen that when we do good things, we get good results, and so that's what uh, the focus will be this week. 10-4-1 record, not something to scoff at through the first 15. That was Coach's comments Thank presented you. by Southside Auto Tech. Fireside Coach Rocky Russo will be back Friday night in Sioux Falls against the Stampede. We'll see you then.